Hey, what's going on? Brother Kamal Mahar here. Back at it again, as always. First things first, we we'll give all praise to the Father. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Badash. Double honor to the, uh, the elders and apostles to learn his truth from. Absolutely. Uh, blessing to the Akim out there, preaching his word with whole heart, truth, sincerity. And um, blessings to the 144,000 and the one third. First fruits, kingdom of heaven, house of David, the Biaf Dawada. And um, what's going on uh, to the fusion of faces, speaking in different tongues and looking at different nations. And uh, what's going on to uh, to, to, the, to the men that get it, life for this truth, the, the dead and Yahweh shall rise first. Absolutely, Shalom. Today I wanted to uh, get on, um, talk a little bit about the market of beast. That's RFID chip. It's locking. I see it right here. I want to talk about, uh, and the fact that the, the Most High would not let the, his elect um, take that chip. And so, um, the let would not take the chip or whatever. So, I wanted to, um, my first preset was uh, what I had, uh, Revelations. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. I wanted to get in Revelations uh, 3, 3 and 9. And um, this is Yahweh Shah um, speaking. It says, Behold. Let me see what it read, Revelations 3, 10. It says, uh, Because thou hast kept thy, the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, you know, keeping the law, statute, commandments, doing the work, you know what I mean? Um, pretty much, you know, keeping everything, you know, uh, aflow, you know what I mean? Doing what you're supposed to be doing. Pray to the Lord, repent. Things of that nature, you know what I mean? Get get to the word. You know, we don't live carnal, we live spiritual. Things of that nature. It's a lot here, man. This thing is actually really pissing me off right now. Um, you know, the most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, and this is a Yahweh Shah speaking, says, you know, because thou have kept my word of my patience. You know what I mean? And the saints, you know, actually keeps his patience or whatever. Um, and it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So that's when you know the prophets talk about how we won't, you know. Having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and that day we not ticking that chip. So we have to have otherly faith, for, you know, for the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to deliver us through the situation. Because um, the hour that the, uh, where it says Revelations um, uh, 13, 13 and um, uh, thirteen and um, so like yeah, this is like old. Oh. Uh, thir thirteen, nine, yeah, uh, thirteen and ten is in captivity. Um, sixteen, Salakia, so and it says he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand um, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, and not to mention, it says in 15, it says, He had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both, shall both speak and cause that as of many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So we know that, you know, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, would give us the, you know, to give us the faith and the belief to, you know, that he going to deliver us and actually take care of us because, you know, not being able to buy and sell with that mark of the beast, RFID chip, radio frequency identification into the right hand or also in the forehead, you know, we have to have faith and pray to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that we're going to be able to be delivered, we're going to be eating and still drinking and things of that nature. Now, some of us will be martyrs or whatever, so, you know, the Most High will also deliver us from the mark of the beast by actually, you know, we might see, um, one brother we had, had a, a video up um, on this as, as well, which I was piggybacking off of, which is a good point, that the, 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 the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will basically you know, like you might see people getting beheaded for the situation that I can get to the scriptures on. And, you know, the most I still have a spirit on you to be able to, I'm still not getting that chip and then, you know, go out like a martyr. That's actually one of the best things you can ever do is go go down as a martyr for the, for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So, you know, I wanted to put that in perspective as well. I also wanted to get on uh, Second Peter. Um, Second Peter. Second Peter, um, I got two and two and nine with that one. Yeah, I remember that. 
wrote that down as well. It says, uh, 2 Peter 2 and 9 says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly. Um, the Lord, Yahweh Bashin Abishad, knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. There we go. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So he knows what he's doing. And so obviously, like, like Yahweh Shah said, you know what I mean? By keeping the word of his patience, he will, you know, he will keep us from the hour of temptation. And this is uh, the Lord know of how to deliver a, a godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of the judgment to be punished. So, you know, when you keep the, the, the law set your commandments and you follow what you're supposed to do, you're doing the work, you have faith. You confess that Yahweh Hashem is the Lord and Savior, only begotten Son, He died for us on that on that correct name. You know, the Most High will reserve the the, uh, the two thirds and the heathen nations to be judgment, and we will be rescued out of it. So, you know, I'm just getting scriptures and piggyback of the fact that you gotta have faith and belief that the Most High Yahweh Hashem would deliver us um, and not get that chip because you know that spares on me now that I'm going out like like a thug. As a martyr for the Most High's sake, because I, I know what the scriptures say about you know taking that chip, which is in fourteen, which I get in a second. But as, but as far as you know, we're not getting that chip. You know, the Most High says, "Elect Lord willing, one of those men." We're not getting that chip, and um and obviously not taking that chip will be obviously allowing the fact that you actually had your patience and you actually had the spirit to not take it, and the kingdom of heaven will most likely be in your in your favor, most likely. Um, and a little short video, I definitely wanted to get on uh, Psalms 34 and 6 was another good one. Um, Psalms 34 and 6 uh, says that this, this poor man cried and the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And that's what we're coming up to. You know what I mean? We, we're the poor men, the, the, the Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indians on those corners. We're praying to the Most High. You know, Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, sighing and crying for the abomination done in the midst thereof. You know, we're the, we're that poor men at the lowest state. And, the, and being at the lowest state, you know, we, we crying, we crying to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And he, and he hears our cries through Yahweh Shah. And he will basically deliver us through our troubles because Jacob trouble is at hand. Martial law, famine. Pestilence, the RFID, RFID chip, all these things are coming, and so you know by crying to the Most High, you know what I mean. We, you know, we 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 pray and hope, and obviously we believe that He would deliver us through these these particular troubles, and that's the that's just the name of the game of how we gonna we how we gonna move, and we utterly believe that. Um, now, even though we're not going to take this chip, and we know why, what are the I'm gonna get to the scripture on what's the one of the biggest reasons why we're not gonna get in the chip. Other than the biggest reason, Salakia, the biggest reason is we have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, and he said, "Do not take the chip." And then, obviously, because he did, because he said not to, also what he said, what would happen if you do? Just like he said in those curses in Deuteronomy uh, one through fifteen, talks about how things would be in a great scenario if we keep the laws and follow the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, the, 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 the benefits and the love and all the. The, the, the rewards and the, the goodies of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But 16 on down talks about what would happen if we didn't do right. And 16, 16 through 68 is all the curses that we're going to go through. So on that particular reference, let's get into what would happen if you take the mark of the beast in Revelation 14. Revelation 14. And um, I believe it's, uh, yeah, eight. Let me see, I'm not saying. Nah, it's nine and ten, and I would say an eleven. And it says nine. It says, the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, the system, the system of the Edomites, so called Babylon, America, and his image, which the whole world is going to get this mark of the, mark of the RFID chip, so. The system of the particular new world order, however you want to put it. And it says, And if any man worship the beast and his image, and receive the mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh thy power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shah. And 11, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, 
and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of it in his name, which is the RFID chip and also that chip that's going to be so-called in the forehead. So don't take this chip. You know what I'm saying? So-called Negro, Latino, Native Indians. Let the heathens, Edomites, so-called white people, and the heathen nations that's, that's willingly want to do it. So a lot of people, a lot of Edomites are chipped already. They, but they've been done before anyway. So they're, they're not, you know, they're going to be slaves anyway. But as a, as a Hebrew Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indians, yo, do not take the chip because you see what it says. And so if you, if you love the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh don't take the chip. And if you really, really look forward to the kingdom, don't take the chip. Because you're going to be burning forever. Not for a moment. Like, ah, nah, ah, forever. That's just horrible. And so that should be enough to be like, fuck that. So a little short video I wanted to get on. Hope this is edifying. I'm going to give all praise to the Father, Yahweh. He is to be, exists by Hashem in the name. Um, the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem and the Holy Spirit, with Kach, with Dash. Double Irish, the apostles, the elders that learn truth from. Absolutely, and um, blessings to the Akim out there preaching his word with whole heart, true sincerity, and blessings to the 144,000 and the one third elect women and children, first fruits kingdom of heaven. The dead in Yahweh Shah should rise first, first, first Thessalonians 4 talk about that. And um, um, the house of David, the Biafta would die. And uh, what's going on? It's confusion of faces, speaking in different tongues, and looking in different nations. Shalom. Hey.